Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. This is actually a timeless collective reading for the sign of Capricorn. A lot of fertility here, a lot of abundance. Okay, there's a lot coming in. And I, I really do sense like some of you guys, whether male or female, you're afraid of this. Um, and maybe it's just a, a subconscious thing. Your subconscious mind is possibly afraid of a new beginning here. Um, and I've been talking about being very mindful and protecting yourself from other people projecting that energy onto you. Some of you have um, a person who could have earth heavily aspected in their chart. Um, they don't have to be a sun sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, but they could have that as a moon, a rising, um, or it could just like, it could be in several placements in their chart, but earth sign people, the element of earth is also feminine. So we have the empress out here in two different decks. Um, you guys, for some of you, it, this is very specific for the the feminine collective energy it doesn't matter if you're male or female some of you could be very afraid to end up in some type of one-sided situation is what i'm getting here i feel like especially for mostly women some of you are very afraid right now to go into any type of connection or partnership with someone else that is going to end up being toxic where it's one-sided they're they're not giving you what you need or what you want or you fear being yourself um having that authenticity here something here has kind of struck a nerve when it comes to some type of deep-rooted insecurity i feel and it's a good thing that it's at the surface because it means that a lot of you now you're working through it and you're healing it you're purging it But it seems like you're unpacking and realizing that it comes from something deeper than what you knew. You definitely could have been dealing with a Capricorn because there's an earth sign here that plays a very significant role in your some of you in your life. They don't have to be Capricorn sun sign. It, it could just be highly aspected in their chart. I'm getting a lot of Capricorn and even with the Empress being here, that's Taurus energy. Um, if we want to talk about earth energy, Taurus and Capricorn. Also, too, it's like right now how I'm doing the cards. I, this isn't how I read at all. Some of you right now, you just feel the need to do something new. But you may feel a little discombobulated. Like you don't really know how. Maybe you just need to go with the flow. Just go with the flow. Judgment, Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. I saw these cards the other day, but you're still hung up on something toxic here. But you have the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. For some of you, you really do want love. You want a, I just heard you want a mature type of love. You want the real deal. You want a mature love you want somebody that you can build and that you can grow with you want the security the stability you want to grow old with someone you really i feel like the feminine collective you really want that and with mercury retrograde being here and recently we had that full moon in cancer which is debunking so many different things illusions and secrets are coming out i feel like a lot of people are really understanding what they really really want like you have a new perspective on life on love and you know you know what you want and i feel that now because of this knowing of what you want it seems like it's almost it's not scary but it's like a daunting feeling because to have what you want for some of you now it you see the changes that are required um some of you have had permanent endings and those goodbyes are not easy but you know that they're necessary you have to say goodbye to the things that cause you to juggle it's not emotionally fulfilling it's like you need to be replenished um it's like you. I hear you just want to believe. You want to believe in love again. 
You want to. Here's the Ace of Wands, the Emperor, the Four of Wands. Yeah. You want a new thing. You want a new person. You want a new life. You you want the business. You want the house, the home, the family. You want you want it all. And you want this with someone for some of you. Every some people are gonna say, I don't want a relationship. This may not be your message. Um, but this can be related to anything. It's just you you want something passionate. You want something, I'm hearing, I heard the word enduring. You want something that's passionate and it's enduring. It's like you're waiting on somebody to come in and show you this passion. It's like you want to be, you want to be seen, but you just want to be cut out of whatever this web of confusion is. Um, and it has a lot to do with your, with your self-esteem. For some of you, you had a person um, in your life, here's more earth energy Virgo with the hermit card here, where it's like you've been at a crossroads and maybe you've been in hermit mode for a very long time and you've been holding back and holding off on doing something here. Most likely you've been waiting on some type of opportunity that never came. And now it's like you have to draw that line in the sand and and find that strength to see like it really is time for you to move forward and pro and most likely you're going to have to manifest something brand new so this brand new start is is what has some people if this isn't you maybe this is someone in your energy or that you will connect with eventually someone just is realizing like i said in order for them to have what they've never had it's it causes anxiety to realize that you have to do things that you've never done. Some of you have never said goodbye to a person. Some people, they, they feel like to say goodbye to someone, it has to be, you know, a really bad situation as opposed to sometimes you have to say goodbye simply because somebody, they you're just not their empress. It's not that you're not the empress, a an empress. You're not their empress. And so you're going to have to realize, okay, I have to move away from this situation as, a, as opposed to allowing it to cause low self-esteem because you're not being chosen or someone doesn't want what you want. You're just going to have to see th this is just not the right job. This isn't the right family. This, this isn't the right friendship. Um, this isn't the right partnership or relationship. There's something more, but whatever this ending is for a lot of you, it, it, it's, um, it's on a soul level. It runs really, really deep. I feel like somebody here, you've been holding on to something for so long. It's like rediscovering yourself. So I just get in the collective right now that there is something that was weighing you down so much because it's a karmic energy that has weighed you down so much that now that it's being removed, it's almost like you don't know really just how to start over. This here says unintentional. They don't realize they're sending you the evil eye words or actions you have jupiter retrograde problems with wow look problems with making important life changes for future benefits expansion abundance and prosperity some of you have people in your environment and they don't realize that they're sending you the evil eye they don't realize that their actions demonstrate jealousy or envy or pride or arrogance they don't or selfishness they don't realize that so some of you are, have have dealt with a lot of people who lack the level of self-awareness that you have. They don't have the same wisdom and discernment as you. Yes. And it's causing you to act out of character. To be irrational, to be emotional, and to have mood swings. And it's blocking. So your solar plexus is, is blocked. You're lacking courage. Um, 
you're not taking a lot of pride in who you are as a person. This will cause you to have a, a lack of willpower, which is what you need to actually have a transformation, be successful in your life. So for some of you, this has a lot to do with your environment or your inner child issues um, that just need to still be healed. And I feel like many of you, this has already come to the surface. It's just, you're just going to have to work through it. Th this is not something that you don't know is there. I feel like whoever I'm talking to, this is, you know what this is. It's just weighing heavily on you because you know that you have to do the work now. You can't procrastinate any longer when it comes to doing the work to actually heal from whatever this toxic mindset, pattern, um, connection, or whatever this is. Hmm. The Ten of Pentacles. Wow. This could have something to do with family. Okay. The stars out here, you could be healing something very toxic within your family dynamic. And maybe this is what's necessary for you to create a, a certain type of family or lifestyle for yourself. Yeah, Page of Swords. Yeah, you're seeing conflict. There's conflict, competition, and chaos around you. You're needing to pay attention to this, but not so much attention that you allow it to slow you down. Some of you, you have toxic people around you in your environment, whether it's in your workplace, your home, or whatever. And these people, they most likely, they keep a close eye on you because you are in this empress-like energy. People are keeping a very close eye on you and they don't realize that they're sending you the evil eye. Some of you can't seem to understand why you're constantly being stressed or why you feel worried or paranoid or confused. It's because you need to pay attention to how you feel when you get around certain people and when you do certain things. Not everyone brings you peace. Some some people around you are, are, are bringing a storm to you and they don't realize it. And maybe because of codependency, you don't want to admit it. That you have a person that's coming around you, I feel, in your environment. And they're getting in your energy and they're causing you to act irrational. To do things that go against what you know you should be doing. And as a result of that, it's blocking your solar plexus. You're not really tapping fully into like your life force energy something here is just a blockage yeah you need to trust your intuition and in whatever this situation is there's a blockage here and something is hidden there's this yeah something is hidden the high priestess and the four of pentacles hmm. what is that about i feel like for some of you you have people who secretly want to hold you back of course, they're not going to come out and tell you that, but I do feel that for some of you, you're in this Empress High Priestess energy. People most likely know what you can manifest and, and like the abundance that comes with you being in this divine feminine Empress like energy. But also it's like some of you, you're, you're psychic or you're extremely intuitive and I think that's a little bit of a threat. The Four of Pentacles is here and the King of Wands. I feel like some people, your power is starting to intimidate them. It's like your 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 power is starting to intimidate people, but it's forcing a lot of people to get on a certain journey to want better for themselves, but it makes them uncomfortable. This is just this... Um, I don't know, this period right now where a lot of people are kind of in this in-between stage, it just causes tension. But this storm will pass. There's just tension here. Yeah, four of pentacles, seven of pentacles, three of swords. It's something here that holds you, holds you back. The knight of wands here, you're going to have to be passionate and optimistic about going in a new direction here. 
you're going to have to allow your pain to sort of feel like your, your purpose. The Nine of Wands is here with the Ace of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. So when it comes to craftsmanship, craftsmanship, workmanship, collaboration, teamwork, manifestation, all of those things, like you're going to have to keep pushing even though you feel like times have been hard. You're drained, you're tired. You're going to have to deep, like dig deep for that passion for you to manifest what it is that you truly want. Because it's like you've already manifested. The vision board is already there. It's like now you just need to work on believing that these things will come into fruition. But you're also going to have to separate yourself from people and things that just don't recognize like your it's not a matter of people don't recognize your potential your potential is the reason why people are like treating you in this weird way i feel the lovers oh and here's the two of cups This kind of goes back to that message before. For some of you, you're at a crossroads right now also because you have to make a choice in love. So you may be walking away from a situation that you felt was completely written in the stars to go towards a soulmate connection. Some of you may say that you're leaving a twin flame to go with a soulmate. Some of you feel like you're leaving a soulmate to pursue a twin flame union. However it resonates for you, but there's some there's a very significant partnership or relationship here that you have to make a choice but you have to choose this particular person this this journey this life this lifestyle you have to the lover speaks of a choice you have to make a choice to be a partner you have to make a choice to have a business partnership or a romantic partnership or a healthy partnership with friends family this is a choice and I feel like this this choice is causing some people some stress. King of Swords, if it's not causing you stress, anxiety, it's causing someone who wants to connect with you stress and anxiety because someone here, I feel, is, is seeing beyond all of the illusions and they know exactly what they want. See, this right here is interesting because this, to me, is, um, I don't know, like, the, the best, how to put this, but this is when... The, the power that comes with knowledge, but not just the power that comes with holding so much knowledge, the burden, the, the burden of knowing. That's what this is to me. It's the, bur it's the burden of knowing that there's a generational curse. It's the burden of knowing that you have to change. It's the burden of knowing that you have to move on or move away from things that you have to start over. Because whatever you see is so vivid, it makes so much sense that you can't unsee it. This is heightened awareness. You can't, there's things here you just can't unsee. You can't unsee the jealousy and the envy around you. So you, wherever, wherever you left, you know you can't go back. So this is the anxiety of knowing I, you just can't go back. You've, you've seen too much, you've learned too much, you know too much, you can't go back. So now you're forced to elevate. This is making some people uncomfortable. Not just you, but it's also making people uncomfortable who are meant to go on the next leg of this journey with you. Some of you, there is a masculine, they see you fully. With all this Empress energy out here, they, they see you for exactly who you are. They know exactly who they're supposed to be to you and who you are to them. The fact that they have to come clean about this. And the fact that they have to clean up. See, some people now, because of how things are being divinely orchestrated, we're all being forced to do the work to clean up. To get into our mission. Some of you, you have a masculine. They have to come clean about whatever they're doing that's holding them back from being in union with you. This could be someone you've never even met before. But what's happening in their life right now is they're mirroring you where they're feeling that anxiety of, oh, shoot, I really have to get myself together. 
it's like game game time. It's the prime time. Like everyone is hearing the call from the divine that hey, you have an assignment. It's like you just came out of a storm, but you know, people say you're either going into a storm or you're coming out of one, but you always have to be prepared to weather the storm. It's like you just came out of a storm and you're about to go into another. And I don't see it as a bad storm. There, it, there's not destruction, but it's a storm. You need to put your raincoat on still. You know, like, I hope that makes sense. Like, you're, you're coming out of one cycle and you're going into another. And, and no, no cycle is all good or all bad. The, the best romantic cycle of your life is still going to have ups and downs. The best business opportunity is still going to have ups and downs. The most successful business can still have to file for bankruptcy and, and it can recover. You're coming out of something that maybe you felt like you would never get out of and you're afraid to go into something else now because you know whatever this is. If you graduated from that last level, you know that whatever wins or losses comes from the next cycle is going to be even bigger than what you just came out of. And I know the feeling because for what many of us just came out of, it, it seemed like it was just really going to just about take us out. But I feel like there's a surprise. King of Cups. I feel like somebody is going to admit that they, they truly care about you very soon. Something is definitely happening with love. Okay. I feel like you have a person right now who is very logical, analytical, practical. They may come off as detached, but I feel like someone is soon going to admit that they have very deep emotions for you. And like I said, this may not be a person in your life. You could just find yourself running across people who are very aggressive. They're in and out. They're emotionally unavailable. They're detached. You're going to eventually come across a person who has probably gone through the same things as you. And they're going to be able to express through actions and verbally that they like you, that they're happy in their life. And they want to build some people that you run across. They're just very unhappy. <laughs> so I am correct. There is an emperor that is coming in for you. The hermit is here. Someone could already have their eye on you. Yeah, some there's a masculine who's going to make themselves known pretty soon. Whether it's someone that you've already crossed paths with or someone brand new. But this this energy here is super strong. So I did a reading a few days ago where I said for some of you you have a divine masculine and they are requiring you to purge out the karmic soulmate energy. This could be for male or female, feminine or masculine. Take it however it resonates. That karmic energy doesn't have to be an, a past lover. That karmic energy can be saying you need to stop your unhealthy attachment with your siblings. You need to stop the unhealthy attachments that you have with your parents. You need to change the way that you interact with people on your job. You need to get rid of something in your life that is toxic, that is blocking this masculine energy from coming in this masculine energy for some of you is not another person this is your own masculine energy even if you are a feminine your irrational thoughts and mood swings and emotions because of your toxic environment is not allowing you to get in this masculine energy to actually go and create the things that you're actually manifest like you're 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 create your it's like you're creating your manifesting but some things are not coming into fruition because your feminine and masculine energy is not balanced you're not um you're not getting into motion you're not putting things into action because these karmic energies around you the things that are running through your mind constantly it keeps you in an emotional state 
Some of you may be even battling almost like mild depression, stress, fear, anxiety, internal conflict, and then there's external conflict in your environment as well. This is you may be having insomnia and everything, and it's like you're going to have to really see what this toxicity is because it's blocking you from having that destined life that you have been trying to manifest. For you to build something that is going to affect you for the next seven to ten years at least this new karmic cycle you have to rid yourself of all the residue of the one that you're coming out of you need a, a clean slate this is making sure that you don't have any cracks in this in the new foundation because anything built on a cracked foundation it, it can fall and like i said you will go into another storm doesn't have to be a bad storm, but at least be prepared for it. The last storm should have taught you the importance of protection and preparation. Page of Cups. Yep, there's an offer coming for somebody here. Page of Cups. But your little heart is blocked in a way and you're going to have to work on that in order to have family wish fulfillment you're going to have to change the way that you see things how you react and respond your perception is creating a reality for you that you may not really like why is this seven of wands here six of cups also, too, you're going to have to block off things from the past. There's challenges and adversity that keeps presenting itself from your past. And Spirit is saying, now you have to make a judgment call to actually really elevate and go ahead now and turn the page here. You, you really have to move away from something here. And for some of you, it's this King of Pentacles energy. The death card just fell on the floor. Remember earlier it said on um, that car we saw it said that something about a, an earth sign. For some of you, there's a person with a lot of earth in their chart. Could be a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus. This situation needs to end. You're going to have to stop talking about it, thinking about it, going back to it, wondering about it. You're going to have to choose to celebrate life. For some of you, if this person is someone who is deceased, you're going to have to make the choice to celebrate their life and stop. I don't want to sound insensitive because for some of you, I don't know who this person is. Okay. Um. So I don't want to minimize anything or sound insensitive. But I did have this channeled message the other day from Divine Masculines and Past on Loved Ones. You have the green light to move forward. You don't have to keep mourning the loss of a person, whether they're still here or not. Because some people go through breakups that are so bad that you would think that the person had transitioned. Some of you, that's what's happening as well. For some of you, you're having a difficult time with letting go of a situation with someone that is no longer here. But for some of you, you're mourning the fact that someone that you felt was perhaps your counterpart, you're mourning and grieving the ending of that, the severing of those ties or that cord. Because perhaps this lifetime is just not going to work out. And that, that's very difficult when you have to say goodbye to that person. It's a huge part of your life. Your, it's your story. But now you have to change the narrative. So, yeah. Some of you, you're grieving the loss of a person that's actually still very much alive and well. But the spiritual cords and ties that are being burned and severed, you can feel it. 
And it's like that codependency to the situation of wondering what are they going to come back? Are we going to be in union or whatever the situation may be? Now you have to fill that space with something else. Because this, whatever this situation, this is not going to keep, this This shouldn't come back another Mercury retrograde. Then you have to really say goodbye to this thing, whatever it is that has had a hold on you. It's not something that should come back anymore. So it seems like for some of you, you kind of have cold feet about this, this goodbye. Because you've held on to whatever this is for so long. You always go back to that friendship, even though you know that person doesn't like you. You always deal with that family member, even though you know they don't really like you. You always let that person back into your life, even though you know they're involved with somebody else. It's something that, you know, we all, myself included, have that thing that we we know is unhealthy and you keep trying to give it a... The universe is coming in saying, now, put the nail in the coffin, don't go back to it. But it's not, this time you don't get to just walk away. No, you really have to put a nail in the coffin. You have to make it so that you, you can't go back to it. Strength. This requires a lot of strength to do. But it's necessary. Because you received from this person, this thing, this place, this situation, this cycle. You received what you need. You received the seed that you need to go out and plant everything that you need for the future. You received the knowledge. Therefore, you receive the power from whatever this situation or these situations are. Now you have to move forward. This is sort of like once you graduate from school, it's like if you just graduated from high school and you're going to college. I've used this before. Why are you still hanging out at the high school campus? You're a college student now. You shouldn't be there. It looks weird. <laughs> it's like it's something for some of you. You've elevated and evolved. And you keep going to something. And it's like. It looks weird for you to participate in that thing or to go to that place or entertain that situation or even have any hopes for certain situations. It's like, okay, you know better. So now you have to do better. You know that's not good for you. You just know it. So this is you really tapping into this strength and courage. Yep. To close out this cycle for good. Because, again, here's the page of Pentacles. You receive the answer. This is the secret. You you received it. You Whatever you need to plant. This, this is like that faith of a mustard seed. This one pentacle can turn into millions of pentacles if you will put it in motion. Even if you start off slow, you just need to move with the information that you have. And your ancestors are saying they'll do the rest. God, your spirit guides, angels, ancestors, they're saying if you just put in motion what I've already given you, I can take you to where you need to go because they've been in the background working to temper you anyway. They're pouring things into you, but you, you still have to take action page. It's like you're going into a new phase of self-development. And with each each phase, it's like the rewards they get greater and greater. I don't feel like this next cycle for a lot of people is going to be um, filled with doom and gloom. I think a lot of people 
the worst is truly over and behind you. But you do have to be very discerning. Moving forward. Choosing your battles wisely. Because it's like you're starting out. I hear like a spirit baby. Like you're starting. Some of you, you have a spirit baby that's trying to come through. But for some of you, this new ranking that you have, you're a, you're a baby at this new level. I had a reading not long ago where I talked about taking the training wheels off. Once the training wheels come off the bike, they don't go back on. You may, when you ride, it's it's wobbly. You may fall. Different things can happen, but typically a person does not take training wheels off of a bike and then put them back on. You cannot go back to whatever you came out of. You can only go up. And it doesn't matter how scary it is, you have to do it. It's like I said uh, recently too, it's like you've gained your wings. So you need to really start flying. Nobody said that you have to go to the highest point in the sky right away. But you at least need to get off the ground with the wings that you've been given. I'm going to pull a few cards. Um, I have this love deck. I'm just curious. Something here is happening in love. But the love, the partnerships, and the relationships, you guys, that's going to really be on hold until you really love yourself and you see that your past, patterns or behaviors connections or whatever is just not an option for you anymore because you've graduated what you accepted in the past you can't accept anymore there's a new baseline it's um yeah i feel like i've said this before recently Judgment. I'm telling you, it's all about heeding the call. It's like your divine calling. A lot of you, you know exactly who you want to be, what you want to be. You want to be in this empress energy. Male or female. Queen of Pentacles is here. You want to do good with business. You know, you want to be healthy, fit. You want to be good with business. You want to... You know, be able to take care of your friends and your family and take care of yourself. That, yeah, this is about you learning to manifest understanding what it really means to be a vibrational match for the life that you really want for yourself. And the two of wands is here. Some of you, there's a very, there's a, a chance meeting that's going to happen. Between you and someone else. And it's going to be everything that you've been manifesting. <laughs> death. It's going to change your entire life. Here's death and here's the star. You have to make the decision now. That you want this new beginning. It's an ending and it's a new beginning here. This is a major transformation. You, you need to let something or someone in your life and allow your life to transform. Like I said, for some of you, you have too much of a guard around your heart because you still haven't made peace with this cycle that's closing out. I'll be honest, for some of you, these karmic soulmates, twin flames who have start, decided to stay in karmic energy, as long as you hold on to that energetically, you're not going to experience anything new. And most of you who have been on these journeys for five, ten plus years, you should know that. It's, it's up to you to turn the page. Because I do, there's new love coming here. The world of card is here and the moon. There's no more illusions. The secrets are out. 
the illusions are over, seven of pentacles. It's time for you to build that happy, peaceful, harmonious life that, that you want. Here is the queen, the king of pentacles, the ace of pentacles, the tower, the chariot, knight of wands, justice, the emperor, queen of wands, queen of pentacles. And like I said, for some of you, there's a person that's coming towards you. You may not know this person, but energetically, there are masculines out here who are causing tower moments in their life or the divine is causing tower moments in their life that's going to force them to move forward. There's masculines who have been stuck in situations or that they they haven't really been stuck in. They, they've chosen to stay there. They're waking up just like the divine feminine collective and they're realizing that they need to be passionate about their pursuit and making a decision when it comes to them deciding between the queen of wands and the queen of pentacles. Out here, the masculine that is here is the king of pentacles. That means that the queen of wands, the more superficial surface level connections, or as we may refer to sometimes as karmic, those have to be cut completely out. In order for the ace of pentacles, the emperor has to be balanced to offer the ace of pentacles to the right person. And for some of you, someone they know, or it has been revealed to them. I'm saying for some, it has been revealed to a few masculines in dreams that, that their life, their family, they belong with you. They know that. This is what the moon has has started to reveal to people. That you're not someone that they can let get away. If you've already met this person, it could have been just a chance encounter, but it was faded. You're not the one that they need to let get away. And therefore, they now see that they have to put an end to the situation with the person that is more focused on themselves and surface level instead of the actual importance of a spiritual union. For some of you, this is someone that you know. This could be someone new entering your life. Uh -oh. Let's get a few more cards. The Fool. The Fool and the Ace of Wands. It's all about the new. It's all about the new, new, new love, new money, new passion, new, 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 new energy, new vibes, new locations, new, new house, new car, new wardrobe, just new. Something in your life is, is just, it's worn out, even the narrative. Like I said, for some of you, if you're crying over the spilled milk of what happened in a particular relationship with somebody, it's it's like spirit is saying, okay, enough is enough. We heard you. We're giving you something new. So why are you still caught up on the old? Okay, so that just fell out. <laughs> So I hope you saw that this card just fell out and it says retreat, get away, travel, new experiences. Okay. And then here is union. So some of you are going into a union with someone. Here it is. New love, healing, inner child, conflict, confused on how to move forward. Some of you are so in love or someone is so in love with you that is driving them crazy. That's really the, that's the biggest message that I'm getting here. It just hit me. It just hit me like a ton of bricks. Some of you, either you or somebody that you are dealing with or you've dealt with is so madly in love that it's driving them insane because somebody is so head over heels in love that they now see that they have to change their life around to make a partnership come together. And here we have third party. Somebody here knows that they have to eliminate a third party situation. They're, they're completely captivated and in love. This is some type of chance meeting. For some of you, this is a future prediction. For some of you, this is happening now. Keep in mind, time is fluid. 
This could be past, present, or future. Some of you have met your match. I don't know when, I don't know where, how. You could have met this person years ago. You could have recently met this person. You may meet this person soon. This love is going to be so exciting to somebody. I do feel like there is a third party situation, but it's like someone is probably going to get to know you or they've already gotten to know you. They falling completely head over heels in love with you. And it has this person wanting to heal or it has you choosing to heal. Now, you and someone are healing one another you're going to heal together this is not a relationship where two people come together and you're perfect that doesn't exist this is you meeting somebody and both of you you have your own scars your own wounds you both understand the importance of you healing the inner child and doing shadow work and there in like i said in this new cycle there will be triggers but this is somebody that wants to go through all of the triggers with you this is someone who has been in a situation with someone that they knew it was very surface level. This spiritual journey may be new to you or this person. A lot of you in the collective, honestly, divine feminists, you've been on a journey and it has been nothing but separation. So you intuitively know and, and you understand the spiritual journey, but how much of it do you really understand when it comes to you being physically in union with somebody that changes everything all these readings they go out the window when you have to actually communicate with the person day to day and work through triggers in a healthy way so this is going to be a bumpy road for whoever this story was it's not going to be easy for you to meet somebody and they be a reflection of you in front of you and it's it's karmic energy it's too like divine beings coming together and healing karmic energy together this is not coming together and everybody is wrapped up perfectly that's not reality there's conflict here around some type of third party situation you could have met somebody while they were separated from someone and maybe it was just like a, a situation of friends you crossed paths maybe you met someone while you were on a trip they were on a trip somewhere. Maybe you or this person or both of you could have been involved with somebody else. And I'm, I'm getting here for some of you, you and this person, maybe you, you email one another or something like that. There is distance between some people who this resonates with. If it's not a far distance, it's just because there is a third party. You and someone, you haven't really been able to take things to the next level. But this love is so exciting. There's something that's going to change. And the sparks are just going to fly. Well, this person, is, they're just going to know like, hey, I, I see this. I want this. Somebody definitely is dealing with someone who is, <laughs> I'm hearing a material girl. They don't want that. They want somebody that's happy, being themselves and authentic. You can see here on the picture that, that this person isn't looking at your outer appearance alone. This person, they they can see your the essence of who you are as a divine feminine. This person said, I love you down to the bone. Divine masculine cannot make that up. Missing you. Your divine masculine is ready for you. It says take action and this is a good change. Affection, touchy, forehead kisses, open door. Somebody wants to take action. Somebody, they want to be able to be affectionate with you. So if this is more like a spiritual connection and it's a lot of telepathic communicating, somebody, they want to be physically in union. And for some people, this means that someone they're seeing, they have toxic relationships, friendships, and other things in their life that they need to clean up for them to have this type of relationship with you. This is not a, you're sitting around waiting for somebody to choose you. These are grown people, like I said, a mature type of love where someone is saying, I want to prepare for, for marriage. That means that I need to get rid of all my options. 
this is somebody who's saying, or you, I want to be right when this person comes in. They're being very intentional. Very intentional. So it's like if that means that I need to delete my social media, if I need to clean up my house, this person wants to make the right space for you. And you should do the same. The reading maybe three days ago, I was saying there was a divine master that was coming in there saying, get rid of everything. If you have stuff in your house that belongs to an ex of yours, you need to get because this person, the the type of the, the depths of this, the love that this person has and how they're connected to you. They're not going to share space or energy with somebody else. So that's what I'm saying. The nail in the coffin. If you're still holding space for somebody, and I tell you this all the time because most of the people watching are considering themselves divine feminines. How can you always expect a man or someone to come in and be totally devoted to you when in the back of your mind you keep saying that somebody else is your twin flame? And all you do is hold space for that person. Some of you don't really know who your twin flame is. Some of you don't even have a twin flame. These so-called twins are karmic soulmates. They were meant to teach you lessons to prepare you for a life partner. Who cares? Twin flame, somebody that wants to do life with you. They want to be there for the good, the bad, the ugly the ups and downs, all of that. So don't worry about the title of what they are. It's a life partnership where somebody wants to actually be committed and devoted to you. How can you expect that from somebody when you're not committed and devoted to them? You're still wondering if your ex is going to call or text you. Just fool for thought. I'm, I'm only saying that because to be a vibrational match, that means that you and another person both have to be willing to do whatever is necessary to be together. And I'm not talking about you actively being in a third party. I'm saying even if you're completely single and you meet another person, that means are you are you willing to go to therapy and work through your inner child issues? Are you willing to improve your daily habits, your health, or whatever you know you need to improve in your life. Are you willing to do that for the sake of you actually having something that's real, it's authentic, and it can stand the test of time? Whoever this divine masculine is, they're extremely patient. Look, you have missed chances came out. It says, have you considered all of your options? Did you give it everything? In the end, we will only regret... We will only regret the chances that we didn't take. You have your memories and have faith. For some of you, this is somebody that's coming back and they are your life partner. This doesn't have to be somebody that you have been with or waiting on a long time. Like I said, you and somebody could have just met. And it was just a bad time. You could have met this person while you were in a relationship or they were in a relationship both of you, you know, have been on your individual healing journeys. And I, I just feel like for a lot of people, the divine is connecting you with your true match. And for a lot of you, your true match, they've been around you. You've met them. I don't feel like God is sending you back people who have hurt you, left you devastated. But I do feel that for a lot of people, you can expect someone that you've crossed paths with to re-enter your life. A lot of the type, the connections that I've been seeing in these readings, these are new. They seem new because a lot of you, you've never had a, a courtship or relationship with these people. But you also, you don't have a lot of baggage with them either. It's light. It's fluffy. It's cute. It's sweet. It's... uh. It's healthy. It's harmonious. It's not doom and gloom. I'm just getting a lot of that like, dang, like, somebody's like, man, if, that, if only that person was single. Well, that person that was never single, they're about to be single. Or this is you. 
and it's going to put you with the right person at the right time at the right place because you and someone you're a vibrational match for one another they probably can feel that you're single just like a person that you've been with they can feel when you are some of you this person i just feel like this person is someone you're so connected to them but you haven't been with them before someone is walking down memory lane says have faith trust and believe that the love is here to stay this time around don't let fear or doubt interfere trust the divine and deeper intimacy this is a relationship that's going to be filled with deep intimacy like emotional closeness emotional availability it's a real partnership playfulness forgive and heal patience children building a future very soon security yeah very soon you're going to be with the person like you're going to spend the rest of your life with whether it's a blended family you building a business with this person having children with this person you guys healing your inner child together playing like children forgiving and healing people who could have hurt you as children this is just a very healing connection i don't know it's it's like wow it's somebody coming in and they're not it's not codependent. It's two people who honestly, th this is not two broken people coming together to pretend that they're whole. It's two people who are self-aware. They're conscious and they're doing the work and you're coming together and you can do it together. You can teach kids and other people how to do what you're doing. But it's what you're doing individually is what allows you to come together and have everything that you need as an item together. It's a really beautiful connection, but I'm telling you, this love is driving somebody insane. Somebody is thinking about you nonstop. And this could have been someone, like I said, this a friend, someone you met in passing, and it was really just bad time. This person is like thinking about you and they're like, wow, I'm in love. Or this could be someone that you've been seeing casually. I'm seeing that as well. It's a casual connection. And this person, they're very afraid that this may not go to the next level. Okay, but for many of you, when this, when I refer to somebody coming back from the past, I'm not talking about their really toxic connection from the past. That's not what this is. This is very healthy. This is really just, you met the right person at the wrong time and something is, is shifting and changing and the time is right now or it's coming up very soon. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Let's see. The card that just popped out is friends with benefits. So this could have been somebody that was like a, a friend with some benefits. And I, just, you know, it doesn't have to be sexual. It's just maybe you and someone, you were friends and you maybe you and this person, you could have talked about the relationship that you, you guys were in with somebody else. Maybe you and this person, you hung out and you just, I feel like this is somebody that you've spent time with and there's just a lot of chemistry and attraction. Like they, you and I hear somebody say, I see you. Like you and this person, you see each other, but there has just been things there, whether it was another person, family, friends, uh, different backgrounds, beliefs. There's been interference here. There's an interference that's being removed though. And you have here a proposal. There is a desire to take this connection to the next level. Are you ready? This person wants to take things to the next. I just said that. Somebody, they don't want you to get away. They want to take this connection to the next level. Here's boundaries here. You probably have very strict boundaries with this person because there was some kind of interference when you first met this person. You have your love letter. So somebody may write you a very beautiful love letter. Remember I said earlier something about emailing? So for some of you, this is like a friend um, I don't know how far the situation got at some point, but maybe you and this person mainly just like text or communicate, um, through email, social media or something like that, because maybe there is, I don't know what the third party is. Some of you, the third party is another person. Some of you, it's distant. Some of you, this person, they're very focused on their career, whatever it is. But this, somebody wants to eventually tell you that they really admire you and they want to express their love to you. Oh. checkpoint 
It says this is the time to check in with your partner to ensure you both have a common understanding on where this connection is going. So for some of you, this is some type of casual connection here. And I feel like you're always on cloud nine with this person and it's time for you to figure out where is this going. This person is madly in love or you are or both of you are. And <laughs> I feel like this person is like fantasizing about marriage, kids, everything. But it causes so much anxiety because for them to have this with you it's going to require that they make a, like, they have to put everything on the line for it. And I feel like they see you as worth it. Yeah. Chemistry. Wow. I love you is what it says. I love you. This person loves you. It says love is a powerful feeling. When we truly experience the actions of someone that truly loves us, it is magical. And look at this. More than friends in lover's lane. Friends with benefits is more than friends. This person is ready to tell you that they like they want to marry you, have kids with you. They want you to meet all their friends and family. Some of you, you're like this person is about to express that they love you. Some of you, if this if there was a third party, this person may soon be expressing to you that like they want to get rid of all their options. And focus on you so this may be a conversation that's coming up for some of you guys soon some of you guys are in some type of situation and it's it's going to become exclusive pretty soon because you and this person is something here I can't say if it'll be forever but for a lot of you it's definitely meant to be in your life even if this is a, like a stepping stone relationship where this person you and this person are going to help each other to heal to grow and to evolve but i see for some of you this has the potential to go all the way i had a reading like this um about a month ago where i said for some of you it's like your best friend is your twin flame and you probably just overlook this person all the time and it's like your counterpart is right there <laughs> like the person you oh my goodness there was a reading about that and I remember I was saying that this person, by the end of the year, either you or this person were going to be breaking up with someone and choosing like a single life, but you and this person would pretty much like come together. And it's because I feel like for some of you, if this is someone in your life, currently this person, like they probably spend time with you or you see them or you talk to them often but there's boundaries. You're not crossing the lines of friendship. Even if it was more than friends, because it does have friends or benefits out here at some point. Somebody here was in a relationship, possibly, or just had something else going on. Whatever was a blockage, though, it's being removed. And it's like, instead of this person going out to find love, they're coming right to you <laughs> on lover's lane. Wow. It says, this is a time when intimacy and sexual healing are needed and desired. Take the time to blow off some steam in the... Uh-oh. So this may be passionate for some of you. Very passionate. <laughs> I just feel like someone is really, really about to express themselves in a way that they haven't expressed themselves before. And this person, they're going to tell you, they're going to tell you that they love you. And look at what was at the bottom of the deck, marriage. It says forever commitment. I love you. And it says chaser coming for you, determined and awakening. Guidance. Spiritual awakening, your spirit guides and angels are supporting you. Wow. Good karma. So somebody is going through like a dark night of the soul and they're facing their fears. Someone is facing their fears about love. I think that you and this person both are a little bit afraid of love because of the karmic connections that you've had to come out of. But you're finding each other to go on this new cycle 
this new journey. You're you're going into it with another person. Wow, so sweet.